when I heard you use, when I was hearing you using that, it really told me that shit is garbage. All right, guys, CK still out here ghost talking. He goes talking to somebody and uh, screaming about the government and uh, Uncle Tom's and Uncle Spicky's and House Niggas and White House and why it's the White House. Welcome to Saturday morning in New York City. He wants you to believe he's the type of uh, nigga that uh, ties people up in his crib and got them screaming for their life. Boy, I tell you, this is one funny, funky monkey, the king. Oh, shit, hold on, hold on, my bad. Um, you got that right? Oh, shit, I didn't know. I didn't know you had that mic. Right. Yeah, 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 there he goes talking still. I didn't know you had that mic, huh? Yeah, see, now you said it, what a bar. So, you happy you got some attention? You sucking the next man's dick is not giving them attention. It's showing them that you're bowing down to them. The king. Oh, what was funny? I wanted to uh, get back to Give him a second, folks. He's got to go in the background and kill the people that's ready to die that you can't hear. Because he forgot a 
Everybody forgets. I think the whole world listened to what actually happened and know what happened nothing like that. I might even put the link in this. Remember that cracky rap? 
Remember when Steve, you was beating Ramon? You was kissing his ass so good, huh? He even tried to show you how to collect bottles, yo. <laughs> No, me and him tricked you into believing that that's what he does. See, you got the story all twisted. You ain't been the same since me and Stevie did that to you, man. I got nothing against Stevie except his political beliefs. See, you know, that just goes to show, you know, that's, that's individuality. You know what I'm saying? He's on Team Chump. He's on a losing team. That's the bottom line. I don't care how you spin it, twist it. Most of America knows it. And that's that, the king of New York City. <laughs> Remember that? You wanted to wear his monkey suit. Cause you, you wanted to wear his monkey suit. Remember that, Craggy? You killed Stevie Ramon's ass to the motherfucking team. And Stevie Ramon was going to bring you into his uh, bottle of can collecting thing. He was trying to show you that you don't have to panhandle. I remember that shit. I, a matter of fact, I got that shit on one of my own. Um, um, Digital recording. He was trying to show you how to fucking uh, look for, for bottles and shit. And I came out, I said, y'all, you a bum ass nigga, yo. <laughs> oh, shit. Me and Stevie tore you up in that gate, spun your brain, replanted something in it, and molded it, and the next fucking year or two showed it. The king of New York City, and Stevie laugh a lot about that, man. Well, me and, what me and him did to you that night, it's still, look, listen to yourself. Yeah. You, know the, you know the heart of it. They wear the trend, they wear the long coat with the rabbi hat and shit. They, you know, motherfuckers hoard money, man. They walk around with a gun, they find it. Stan, I was a Five keying all over the cupcake. The most talked about and minute feared man, the king. When the garbage digging for a fucking can and your man walk by. That's sad, man. That is me. I've seen that. And I've I bought a motherfucker some food. And I know that he was born. You know, it's 7.30, he was born. He got right. you mans in them, man. That's the peeps you hang with, bro. Not the peeps we hang with. Order some food, yo. I ain't, I'm not giving you no money. I'm not giving you no money. And I made sure he ate that motherfucker. Because he had, you know, he was eating that burger so he was looking like he wanted to sell that chicken. I was just looking at him like, nah, he ain't with that burger. You good? Make sure you take a bite out of all that shit. I'll tell you one goddamn thing. Cracky wouldn't even get a motherfucking glass of water. You cracky wouldn't even get a glass of water in hell out of me. We know that. The six times you wanted the sidewalk, you were too scared to say you CK-187. So he could have shown you what you're there for. is back to coked out she -mail. Now mind you, he ain't been to sleep yet, dude. I woke up three times throughout the night. 
Fell asleep about 10 o'clock. Woke up 12.30, 2.30, 4.30. He's still rambling on. Coquette. and white thing, man. Try to realize this. But uh, let me tell you something, man. You see what happens? When Cracky comes to somebody, before you know it, whoever he leaning on is going to tell the, the person is going to say, He's keying up, up with you, you, Red Hook. He's not listening. Whoever, uh, you know what I'm saying, how far can you lean on somebody until that person tells you to go fuck yourself, get off. I don't hear Richie kneeling on anybody out here. That's funny though, man. Craggy don't want to play. He, no, he's one of them, um, once in a while, he's a cracker. Once in a while, you know, Richie got to, he got to check in. He got to check in on Channel 40 and let him know that he's still a cracker. Ah, uh, so you have put the cracker between the white bread? No, I see a cracker, no, a cracker. A cracker don't mean you got to be white, man. People get that shit fucked up. You don't got to be white to be a cracker. I'm talking about like some dumb, hillbilly-ass white trash. A lot of, let me tell you, a lot of racist motherfuckers are white trash, man. They out there in the sticks and the swamp, motherfuckers collecting pigs and shit. So, you know, these motherfuckers out, they got it fucked up. They got a fucking racist called cracker. No, not all white people are crackers, man. A lot of them is up there in the trailer park. Collective pigs. They even got names for their pigs, yeah. The Wilbur, motherfucking uh, Blooper. Uh, they got some chesters. Now, now, you know, Wilbur comes from Charlotte's Web, so give him credit. He actually seen that one. They got some crazy ass names, yo, Judge. Yeah, and Richie says, P.S. says, I don't care. They should think, I know, I know uh, Birdman laughing his ass though, because I know Birdman know what I'm talking about. Birdman's been around the world. So, hey, Larry Bird, right? You've been around the world and I, I, I. I, I, I. I know, hey, Larry, I know you, you've been around the world and seen it all, man. I know you've been around area where you got a ball, oh, fucking trailer park trash calling somebody a nigga. And look at him. Dirty, smelly ass, sweaty motherfucker. Like the nerve to call somebody a nigga. Like, you're not white. I'm glad, motherfucker, shit. Over there with pigs and mud. Yeah, I took a bath and motherfucker. Almost a year. Yeah. I'll be a nigga all day. I'll be a clean ass nigga too. That's right, I'll be a clean, shiny ass nigga. So call him Mr. I'll be a clean, shiny ass nigga all day. There'll be some smelly pig ass mud motherfucker. Bitchy bitch. We'll do that. You know that. Come on. You know Cracky will do that shit. Richie's bitches. The racist motherfuckers. Richie's bitches. He called me a nigger, right? He called me, he was like, nigger! You know how, you know how the racist cops back in the day. 
bitch these bitches, make sure you call them Mr. when you address them. Except the new uh, squeaky one, you call that Miss. Miss. Maybe I should pay him a visit today. Hmm. I should. mother that gave birth to you, that will never happen. No, 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 no. What I'm gonna do is ship him a rainbow flag. He thinks it's a blanket. Maybe for toilet paper. No, he can use it to wrap up here. He's got, he'll have a clean piece of cloth to wrap up here. Hey, Cracky. One day I'm gonna go. Hello, radio. Dollar against an hour with the crack whore that gave birth to you. That will never happen. Thank you, the house. Yo, private property. You were scared shit. You never fucked with him again? Got yourself. I'm back in the cut. They're all yours, folks. Is that what happened? You don't fuck with Iron Man no more? Huh? What happened? Hmm? You seen him run out of here to the right. All his intentions were to the left. You see what it is. I ain't gotta do nothing. The king is clear. Your private property? Oh. I gave him one transmission too many. Let me get back upstairs. We're clear. Property? Hey! No private property! Yeah, like a fucking bitch. I noticed that too. You don't fuck with Larry because Larry come over there and, and cut your fucking dick off. I'd have to find it first. Larry's more in love than you and don't have a beef, but if you could escalate one of them, he's welcome to come back. Larry said he would never go there again. Is that right, Larry? God, you in the bus? The bus turned? Damn. There you go, crackhead. He just lost another customer. He was never my customer to start with. Yeah, because you bullshitted him about the CB shop. That's why he told you to go fuck yourself. I'm out. One transmission too many. Light switch on. Operator gone. Cupcake, wind him up. He ain't been asleep since he woke up yesterday. Hey, cracky. Huh? You want to show Larry a CB shop, an empty parking lot? Yeah, dog. Yo, you can't stay in my house, man. My landlord. Come on, we're going to grab him by the elbow. I surprised his leg didn't shake when you grab your elbow, Larry. It's funny that he's trying to get back at me and you cut him off. Oh, shit. Wow. All I did was say, Cupcake, wind him up, and I did it without no power. And Cupcake says, I'm trying to get back at him. And I'm crying, uh, no. Mm -hmm. Because video gates don't lie. Right, Cracky? You expose yourself too much. Especially with the black videos now. What happened, Cracky? You don't want to show your dirty radio? Huh? I was to start video gates here. Hang yourself. And we over there video getting it too, right? No, I don't do that. I'm just saying. I mean, once in the blue, I probably... Like, when this is exclusive... <laughs> I don't call it me, I don't call it a video game, but... When they say exclusive, when I know it's about to, like... That person about to, like, uh... Expose himself, oh yeah, oh yeah. Especially when Cracky starts moving, right? I'll leave that for another. But, uh... Cracky talking about all that, all that bullshit. Iron Man was at your front or uh, in your yard. All that shit you were saying on the radio. So now you want to use talking. Hold up.
Oh, 20 minutes later, he's at the bridge saying, I called the cops on him. He ran right the hell out of there. I said, all right, I'll be right out. And where's he go? To the right, right on out of there, rather to the left where Richie's coming out. Shame on it. What happened, Craig? And the video gate does not lie. I believe the video gate shows the direction he ran clearly. Right on out of there. Got you again, Squeaky. Okay. Get me some more. The king. I'm sorry if I had to show everybody that that way. You're going to learn the hard way. They always say, gotta love my seat. I wonder which way that is. Let's see if we can find out. While I'm not in control. Right? There you go. I'm being myself. It's my radio. Nobody paid for it. So they have no control of it. haven't figured out that people have plenty of control over their radio. You see, there's only two or three motherfuckers ever talking to them out here. Oh, I'm sorry. That's them talking amongst themselves. My bad. <laughs> 